Sarah. Oh, Sarah. Hey friends, how are you today? I'm Sarah from Community Yoga and I'm so excited to do yoga with you today. Let's get started. Can you go and grab a couple of books? They can be any books. They don't have to be special, just some books that we're going to prop up on the floor so that later we can hop over them. Awesome, sounds good, go grab them. And then find a comfy seat, crisscross applesauce. Ah, perfect. Let's find our singing bowl and let's start practice off. Oh, feeling so good. So today we're doing farm animals. I'm so excited for this week. It's all about animals and farm animals can be so much fun. And you may have already been able to go to a farm and see a lot of these animals. So that's nice because you already might know a lot about them. So let's listen to our singing bowl. We'll have our three rings to let our body settle, right? Let's see, we've got one. Maybe we get our last wiggles out. Maybe we take a big sigh out. yoga. Yay! Let's find our breath. Can we bring our hands in front of our heart? Let's rub our hands and take a deep breath. Take a big breath in, reach up to the sky and let it all go. Ha! Ah. Rub our hands and take a deep breath. As tall as you can, as high as you can, let it all go. Ah. One more. Rub our hands and take a deep breath. Can you follow your thumbs as you breathe in? And then let it all go. Ah. Breathe out. Perfect. Okay, we're going to start with our sun dance today. So, today we'll start standing. Find that comfy space where we can stretch our legs out wide. Perfect. And then we're going to take our toes on this side and turn them that way. Perfect. We'll keep our legs nice and straight. Reach our arms out to the side. Take a big breath in. And then as you breathe out, can you try and reach down toward your toes? Amazing. And our other hand's going to reach up for the sky, reaching up for the sun. You got it. Maybe look up at those fingers. Maybe give them a wiggle. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. I almost forgot the words of the song. My goodness. I sing this song every day. Perfect. So I like to call this my giraffe in yoga because this is our giraffe head up here. Perfect. Let's come back up. We'll turn those toes back forward and these toes are going to turn this way. Perfect. Okay. Ready? I'm going to switch hands with Mr. Sun so I can get my giraffe head out. Ready? Let's reach, 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 reach. <sighs> hand down toward our toes. Other hand up to the sky. Wiggle those fingers. Or get out your giraffe head. With all those animals we'll be learning about this week, I thought it might be nice to learn different ones while we're doing our sun dance. Perfect. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind a tree. Perfect. Let's come all the way up and let's hop our feet back together. Hop. Perfect. And come all the way down into our cobra. We know that one. So we come down into our plank and then down onto our bellies. We lift our hearts up to the sky in our cobra. These little children are asking you to please come out so we can play with you. Can you make your slithery snake all the way down? Now, so far these animals have been ones that we probably see at the zoo. You might see some snakes in the garden or at the cottage though too. Let's find, but maybe not a cobra, <laughs> let's find our downward dog. That one we might see lots of everywhere. So we let our hips lift up and back. We push the floor away with our hands. 
See how it feels to stretch one leg up to the sky. Maybe give it a shake, wag your tail. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. Let's switch legs. Please shine down on me. And then we'll bring our knees down to the floor, sit back on our heels, and just notice how we're feeling. Can you feel any butterflies in your tummy? Or can you feel your heart today? Hmm, how's our body feeling? It's good to check in from time to time. Can you find a comfortable crisscross applesauce now? I'll put Mr. Sun away for now. Perfect, and since we're talking about farm animals today, I wanted to do a song that I know you will all know, and that's Old MacDonald. So, I like to find a beat on my legs. Yeah, finding our rhythm. You do it too, amazing! It goes, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm he had a, who goes, or, oink, 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 oink. Yeah, a pig. He had a pig, E-I-E-I-O. Let's turn into a roly-poly pig, a roly-poly pig in the mud. So come down onto your back, reach up for your feet, maybe your ankles or your shins, if it's too far to reach for our toes. So our knees are bent, and we're going to rock from side to side. Whoa. Roly poly, because piggies like to roll in the mud, don't they? Do you know why? I heard it's because it helps to keep them cool. Yeah. So, what does a piggy say? With an oink, oink, here and a there. Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink, oink. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. Let's roll all the way up. So, bring your knees in towards your heart. Hug behind your legs and see how it feels to swing your legs back and then swing them forward. Ooh, let's try that again. Careful of your head though, nice and gentle. Swing our legs back and then swing them forward and come up to sit. Perfect. Okay, find that beat again. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a... What animal goes? Moo! And gives us milk. A cow! So let's come onto our hands and knees like this. And we're going to stretch our bellies toward the floor. But they don't quite touch because our knees and our hands keep us away from the floor. So push the floor away with your hands. Can you look up toward the sky? So our belly is nice and heavy. This is our cow. Uh, he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Let's find some other animals. Find your legs, find your beat. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a, who goes, ba, ba, and they're fuzzy, they're so fluffy. <gasps> Some sheep, you're right, let's turn into a sheep, perfect. So we'll come onto our hands and our knees, perfect. And we're gonna puff up our body. So this is normally called a cat in yoga, and there might be some cats on the farm too, but I thought it would be nice to make a sheep by puffing up our bodies and turning into a big puffy sheep. So reach the back of your heart up to the sky and push the floor away. Can you look back towards your belly button? Good job. He had a sheep, E-I-E-I-O, with a ba ba here and a ba ba there. Here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba ba. You guys are good at that sound. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Okay, we have one more animal to find and then we'll use our books that I got you to grab. So find your beat. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had a, who goes, me, a horse, of course, E-I-E-I-O. So we'll come onto our knees. We're gonna keep our toes under 
tucked under like this and get out our hooves. So we can bring our bum toward, toward the floor and when we neigh, we can go neigh, reaching up like a horse that's bucking. With a neigh, neigh here and a neigh, neigh there. Here a neigh, there a neigh, everywhere a neigh, neigh. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Okay, let's stand up. We're going to turn into someone riding a horse now. And I wanted to see if you could do a couple of movements. So grab your books and we're going to create some hurdles because you know how horses sometimes you see them out in the field jumping over hurdles. So you're going to take your books and turn them so that the spine of the book is up to the sky. And we'll put them on the floor like this so it makes a triangle. Perfect. See if you can do that with a couple of books. We're going to see if we can gallop over our books today. Perfect. So I've got four, but you get as many as you need. Sound good? Perfect. Okay. So it goes like this. The song goes like this. Can you make that sound? Can you gallop? So we keep one foot in front of us and one foot behind us, kind of like when we're in our warrior one. We can hold on to our reins this time. And we're going to lift our legs. Yeah, one at a time. Perfect. So it goes, here we go riding on our horse, on our horse, on our horse. Here we go riding on our horse. Nay, nay, nay. Amazing. Now let's see if we can do some jumping. Can you jump over the book? So we go, here we go jumping in on our horse. Oh, I got to try that again. Hold on. I got my galloping all mixed up. Let's just see if we can hop first. Let's hop with one foot first. So one foot over, the other foot over. Perfect, now try with two feet. Can you hop two feet over and two feet over? Okay, so you do which one feels good in your body. Ready? Here we go jumping with our horse, with our horse, with our horse. Here we go jumping with our horse. Nay, nay, nay. Amazing, perfect. So you can do any hopping you could do side to side hopping if you want. That would be tricky. I think I look more like a bunny rabbit than a horse at this point. But that's okay, you do what feels good. And then when you feel like, whew, let's find our heart. Mine's beating pretty fast from all that jumping and galloping and breathing and singing. How's yours feeling? Is it going pretty fast too? Okay, let's try this one more thing. Let's stand up. This will help to calm our bodies a little bit, but we're going to imagine that we're sleeping horses and sleeping horses sometimes lie down to sleep, but sometimes they stand up. So I want you to find your mountain, close your eyes, take a big breath in and a big breath out. And we're going to see if we can keep our balance by swaying our body from side to side. It's tricky, you can open your eyes if you wanna see. So we're putting our weight into one foot and then putting our weight into the other foot. And if it feels good, you can start to lift one foot and then the other foot. And then try closing your eyes while you do it, it makes it trickier. Here we go sleeping like a horse, like a horse, like a horse. Here we go sleeping like a horse, nay, nay, nay. Ooh, how did you find that? Did, were you able to keep your balance? I had my eyes closed so I couldn't see, but I found it a little tricky. I got the giggles at some points. Okay, let's see if we can rest. So we'll actually turn into a sleeping horse this time. You can move your books out of the way. Find a comfy space and let's lie on our sides today. So we're going to pick a side. The arm underneath will be a nice pillow for us. And our other hand can just rest in front of us. Our knees can be bent or straightened. <sighs> we're going to see if we can do a horse breath to calm our bodies. So take a big breath in through your nose. And then we're going to take a big breath out through our mouth, but keep our lips together. We go. It makes such a silly sound. It makes me giggle sometimes. But if I'm ever feeling like, oh, I have all this energy in my body and I don't know what to do with it, sometimes that breath helps me, oh, let it all go. So it's like we're snoring horses. Amazing. 
keep doing your horsey snores and I'm going to get the chime out. Let's see if it helps us rest our bodies a little bit more. Eventually your lips might not want to move and it's just a little breath out through our mouth. Close your eyes. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Can you stretch your arms up over your head and stretch out your legs? <gasps> and come all the way up to a comfortable seat. Maybe that's crisscross applesauce. Let's thank our bodies. Awesome, so thank you so much for coming out to learn about farm animals today. I'm excited to see what else you're going to learn today. Let's rub our hands. Find your head. Can you say thank you, mind? Rub our hands. Find your heart. Can you say, thank you, heart? Rub our hands. Great big squeeze. Thank you, body. Amazing, friends. I hope you have a wonderful day. Keep learning. I'm so excited for you. Take care and see you next time. Bye.